Well, as you plan to take a vacation, sometimes it can be kind of difficult to figure out how to keep your plants watered while you're gone. Well, there are a few simple steps to take to make sure that your plants are as happy as you are while you're on vacation. And first off, you probably need to enlist a friend to help you to come by and check on your plants. But there are some steps to take that it will make it easier on your friend. And first off, if you group all of your plants together in one spot and group them in the shade, this will help them not dry out quite so fast. And also, they're easier to check on and easier to water if they're all in one spot. Now there are some tricks here to make it even easier. And first off, with your hanging plants, you can take something like a shoestring here. I've got a long one that I've cut in half. And provide your hanging plant with a wick. And all you need to do is turn your pot over. If it's got a tray on the bottom, remove that so you can see the holes. And then take something like a screwdriver and just Poke that shoestring up into the bottom of the pot. Now, if you have a regular pot, you could use something like a pair of hose, something bigger. And with this, I would probably put about three shoestrings in here to provide enough water. Next, if you get a bucket full of water, see I've got this one pretty full, and just set this plant on top with the shoestring in the water, that will act as a wick and it will basically automatically water your pot for you while you're gone. Now then, all the person has to do is check the level of water in the bucket and make sure that's full and your plant will be automatically watered. Well, on the same lines of this, a kind of an automatic watering system is to get a plastic jug and poke a hole in it with a nail just above the base of it, about a half of an inch. And then you can adjust the flow of water by adjusting the lid on this to where you've got a nice slow drip. Then you can set this jug inside the pot with your plant, adjust it so it has a nice drip and keeps it moist, and you'll have an automatic watering system there. Now another thing to conserve water with your plants is a system known as double potting. And basically, you just need the pot that your plant's in and then a larger pot than that. Then what you can do is take some peat moss, straight peat moss, and moisten that so that it's wet. Work with it so it's moist. Fill the bottom and then take your pot, put it in the middle, and fill in around that with the peat moss. This works really well if you have clay pots or something. It will keep them from drying out because it keeps that area around the pot moist. It also provides it with some insulation. And the clay pot can actually draw some of the water out of the peat moss to help keep that plant moist while you're gone. Now before you leave, just give a little bit of dose of water to this peat moss around so that it's moist, and that should keep your plant from drying out. Well, another method we use all the time in our gardens is to mulch our garden. And you can actually do this with your potted plants as well. Same principle, you take your pot and just use about two inches of mulch and place that around the top. And this will act the same as it would in your garden. It'll help it to conserve moisture. So you can mulch all your pots before you leave for vacation. Now, you, if you don't have the money for an expensive automated irrigation system, there's actually a fairly expensive way to get around this. And that is to get an automated water timer that goes on your faucet outside. Now this is about $20 and it's a programmable timer that you can program to water for like an hour a day every day of the week. Now to use this with your potted plants, you have them all grouped up in one spot and you hook this up, hook the hose up and then the sprinkler and position the sprinkler so that it hits all of your plants at the same time. Now I would set this up so that it would water, say, every day or every other day, uh, first thing in the morning, because that's the best time to water plants. And then, also, if you do this, I would recommend using a fan-type sprinkler or some kind of sprinkler that goes up in the air and then comes down, much like rain, because that will actually get into your pots better. And also, if you use an impact sprinkler like this, it's really quite forceful right at the sprinkler and you would run the risks of chopping your plants off 
if you get, use something like this. Now, again, this is something that you might want to experiment a little bit with before you leave and also explain to your friend that's helping check on your plants how all of this works then it's going to make the job a lot easier for them and your plants will enjoy your vacation just as much as you will. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. You can also find more recent videos on our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.